If you try and chase two rabbits, they both get away. So pick which one you're going after and go grab that sucker. And there was a study that I saw, and this changed everything for me because I also was someone who could easily chase the shiny and chase the flashy, try and do multiple things at once. Um, I saw a study that was done by a gentleman named John Berardi, uh, who started a company called Precision Nutrition. And he did a research study, and he found that when they had one group focus on changing one singular behavior at a time, and when they only focused on one behavior, they had an 85% success rate. I'm not a gambler, I'm not a big better, but you tell me that I have an 85% chance, I'm taking all of my chips and I'm all in. They're all going in, I like those odds. But what, I, what absolutely blew my mind was, in the second group, control group, uh, they had them try and change two habits simultaneously and the percentage of success dropped down to about 40%. Less than half of that original group. And then just for giggles and smiles, he had a third group try to change three behaviors simultaneously and their percentage of success dropped down to about four or 5%. So just by diverting our focus and attention from one to two or one to three, we go from 85% success down to four or 5%. And as soon as I read that, I said, I'm gonna start having singular focus in everything I'm going to change. So here's the process that I recommend folks go through. Do a self audit, come up with a list of a few things that you think you should start doing and a few things you think you need to stop doing because these things are getting in the way of you becoming the best version of yourself. And once you have a list of three or four, I want you to really reflect and I just want you to circle one. Not one on each side, just one. Here's something I need to start doing to improve my life or improve my business or stop doing because it's been undermining it. Once you've picked one, and that is step number one, you make a commitment to doing that for the next 66 days. I love printing out a paper calendar, getting a red Sharpie, and making an X. And I tell you what, there are very few things in life as satisfying as putting a red X on a calendar and starting to see that chain of red X's build up. It will help you give, get confidence. So that's step two, is you make the commitment to doing it for 66 days, and then here's the big one. You recruit an inner circle of people to hold you accountable to this. So this is going to be your, your they're going to help keep the spotlight on. And these people are going to check in with you every single day for the next 66 days to make sure you do what you say you're going to do. So let's just say to make this one easy, because I think physical fitness is, is a, a visceral example. Someone says, I need to start having more self-care to how I treat my body so that I have more energy and more focus throughout the day. So I'm going to make a commitment to go for a walk for 30 minutes every morning. That's just one thing. They didn't buy a Peloton bike. They didn't get a, a membership to the yoga studio. They didn't have a, a dietitian come in and buy them groceries. All they're gonna do is go for a walk once a day for 30 minutes. They make the commitment to doing that for 66 days. They print out their calendar. They put it on their desk. They get a beautiful red Sharpie. And then they tell the people closest to them. Could be a spouse, could be an adult child, could be a coach, could be someone they work with, could be a neighbor. And say, I want you to text me every single morning and ask me if I went for a walk. Ask me, did I go outside or walk on the treadmill? Ask me how far I went. Ask me what I listened to and check in with me. And you know, one of the emotions that unites all human beings outside of psychopaths is we don't like to disappoint the people that we care about. So, you know, if I know you're going to text me later today to ask if I went for my walk, I don't want to let you down. You're my guy. So that, that's going to give me just a little bit of extra incentive to do it above and beyond the own personal commitment I made to myself. And, and if you pick one, you do it for 66 days and you get a team of people to hold you accountable, I'm betting everything I got on the fact that you are going to change that habit. And then the beautiful part is at the end of 66 days, now you pick something else.